Close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One last time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Just feel the gentle rhythm of your breath. Feel a steady beat of your heart. Take a moment to just listen to your heartbeat. Feel a gentle rise and fall of your chest as it moves in time with your heartbeat and strong heart. And with each beat of your heart, you feel more and more relaxed, more and more calm and more and more peaceful. And every time you breathe in, you are breathing in deep relaxation. And it's making you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Now tense up your whole body really tightly and hold it just for a second and now let it go. Feel your legs going limp and soft as your muscles relax. Feel your whole body softening as you gently relax. So one more time, tighten up all of the muscles in your body, really, really tightly. Ball your hands into fists and hold for just a second. Now let it go. That's really, really good. Well done. You are now so relaxed that your whole body is still. So very still and so very, very heavy. And your body is so relaxed now that you can't move any part of it even if you wanted to. But that's okay, because you don't want to. Now imagine that you are on a platform of a very old railway station. And in your hand, you find that you have a very special ticket a golden ticket. So you take a good look at the ticket to see what it says. The destination on your ticket says Dreamland. And you wonder where that is. But it sounds like quite a cool place. So you think to yourself, okay, why not? You look around you and you see a few other people. Some of them are just standing on the platform. Some of them are sitting down, reading newspapers. But all of them look very tired and very sleepy. 
And you feel a bit sleepy too. You look up at the big old station clock to see what time it is. What time is it? You look around the station and you notice that it's a very old fashioned place. And it kind of looks like you've gone back in time. It looks like an old Victorian station and it feels very comfortable and very nice. As you wait for your train to arrive, you notice that the sun is starting to sink just a little bit lower in the sky. You can hear the whistle of the train as it gets closer. And you can just about see it further along the track. You can see the great big puffs of steam as the train starts to slow down. And you can hear the whistle blowing again to signal its arrival. Only this time, it's a lot louder. You turn now at the sound of the train pulling into the station. It's a very old steam train and it makes that kind of hissing sound that only steam trains can make. The sound of the steam billowing out of the funnel and around the wheels. And the train quietly comes to a stop. You look at this beautiful train. It's very old and kind of worn in places, but you don't mind. You open the carriage door and climb aboard. This train is not like the newer trains of today. It's also a very special train. You walk along the tiny corridor until you come to your compartment. You open the door and step inside. There is no one else there at the moment. So you find yourself a nice, comfortable place by the window and sit down. After a few minutes, the whistle of the train begins to blow again to signal that the train is about to move. And you can hear the slamming of the doors one by one. You hear a second whistle blow and the train slowly begins to lurch forward. You can hear the chugging of the engine as it burns the coal on the fire that's making the train move. The train begins to move out of the station, picking up speed as it goes. The wheels squeal a bit on the tracks, but the train keeps on moving. You settle back in your seat and look out of the window. You can see lots of things looking out of the window. You can see the trees in the distance. And you pass by many open fields. Some of them even have sheep and cows in them. And when you look a little bit further, you can even see the misty mountains 
as you pass by. You realise you are passing through another station. That didn't take long at all. And as you pass through, you see a signpost with the name of the station on it. And this station is called Slumberland. What an odd name for a station. The train doesn't stop even though you see a few people just sitting there. It just keeps on moving. You continue looking out of the window, wondering what else you may see. After a little while, you begin to feel a bit sleepy. You notice that the sun has nearly set, but not quite yet. You see more images passing by the window. What do you see? You notice that you are passing through another station and the train doesn't stop. You manage to see the name of the station though as you pass through. And this station is called Sleepyville. There is no one waiting on the platform. No one at all. You continue to look out of the window, feeling so very sleepy now. The motion of the train and the sound of the chug chug chugging is starting to lull you to sleep. When you got on the train a lot earlier, it was daylight, but now the sky looks quite dark and it's getting darker all the time. The lights have come on on the train and it looks really cozy and warm now. But you can't see much out of the windows, just the odd light in the distance as you pass by. And you can just about see the darker shadows of the misty mountains as the last of the daylight sky disappears. But they too are slowly fading fast now. The closer you get to your destination, called Dreamland, the more and more tired you become. So very sleepy now. Your body is starting to feel quite heavy. And as you look out of the window, you begin to see shooting stars flying across the night sky. You can see lots of them and they look really beautiful. And you wonder 
Where are they coming from? You pass through the final station. You just whiz by this one. The signpost says that this one is called Pillow Palace. And you think that they really do have some strange names for some of these stations. As you sit there looking out of the window at the shooting stars, you feel a strange sensation. It feels like the train is rising into the air. But that can't be right, surely. You look out of the window again and you see that the lights you could see in the distance earlier are now beneath you. You are now looking down on them and they are getting smaller and smaller as the train rises higher and higher. You can still hear the train as it chuck, chuck, chucks over the tracks. But you realize that the tracks are now high up in the clouds. As you look out of the window, you see the beautiful glowing moon it's almost an orange colour, a very warm and very inviting colour. All of the stars are out now too, shining brightly and so very beautifully. And you feel so very tired now, so very, very sleepy. Your whole body is perfectly calm and relaxed and so ready for sleep. Your eyes, they're so heavy. So you close them just for a little while. Imagine all of the thoughts in your head are just dissolving away. Imagine that any thoughts that may be still trapped inside are just floating away up to the stars. And they do find their way into the beautiful starry sky above you. And then they just drift out of sight. Soon you'll be sound asleep off on a peaceful journey to dreamland that will carry you all the way through until morning. As you slowly drift off to sleep, the train gently starts to slow down and it slowly and peacefully chokes into the station. And this station is called Dreamland. But you don't notice this because you can't open your eyes anyway. But that's okay because you don't need to open them. Dreamland is the place where beautiful dreams come true. Dreamland is a place of peace and safety just for you.